And Jared, what are well, you watching this morning? It's not what I'm watching, it's what I'm listening to. A uh, little bit of a deafening bell there, this back bell going off behind me. Um, and actually quite a bit of activity on the floor, a little bit more than I've seen in a while. It is the day after the Fed, and my biggest takeaway is, thank goodness, we don't have to say taper tantrum anymore. I think that's effectively out the window. Uh, but everybody's looking ahead to uh, what's going to happen into the end of the year. Specifically, uh, we have a mixed market today, but we're coming off of record highs for all of the majors, also the Russell 2000, Dow Transports, uh, everything kind of uh, looking towards a very, pointing towards a very bullish picture. In particular, I'm looking at the VIX now trading with a 14 handle. Um, it looks like the VIX has settled into a new trading range and 18 to 20, probably going to be the ceiling here for a little bit. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't have spikes above that, but when it's trading in a range, we'll probably see some resistance at uh, these uh, at these very low levels. And um, what does it say about the market overall? I think that uh, the bullish factors point toward an end of the year rally. We could have some hiccups. I'd have, I'm at the risk of uh, repeating myself here, but I do want to get to some news that affects the exchanges. Now, CME just entered into a pact with Google. Google's going to invest $1 billion in their equity, and CME is going to put all of their services on the cloud eventually. That includes clearing and as well as their exchange services. So, um, I think it's indicative of where the market is going. You know, you take a look at the infrastructure that we have for the New York Stock Exchange, for instance, for, instance, for the NASDAQ. A lot of these, uh, a lot of the trading, most of the trading is conducted off-site, and now migrating to the cloud, um, I think speaks as to the dominance of these tech giants. So um, something, I think it's the beginning of a trend and I'd look for uh, other exchanges to follow suit eventually. Jared, I know one other area of the market you're watching closely is the meme stocks. Of course, we had that big move higher in Bed Bath & Beyond shares mm -hmm. yesterday. A little bit less of a market move this morning, but what are some of the details there? Yeah, I, I think we've seen a meme stock, I'm going to call this 4.0, because we've seen at least three iterations for most of the meme stocks earlier in the year. So January was a big one, late January, early February, June was another one. And it uh, depends on which stock you look at, but if you take a look at, for instance, AMC GameStock, it's clear where the spikes have been. And so I think what we're seeing with Bed Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond, you get some incremental news. You know, they're in the midst of a turnaround strategy. Sazi's been all over it. Uh, it doesn't take much to goose a meme stock. And so with momentum on their side, I think we're going to see more of this this week. And when the hot money fades, it's going to go into some other asset, maybe Bitcoin. There's an interesting correlation I have noticed, and it's not perfect, but when there's a lot of money going into meme stocks, uh, the crypto doesn't, uh, doesn't have as many uh, hot money flows itself.